Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about the infamous Ben Nye Banana Luxury Powder, okay? I had to get my hands on this because it's just like the most raved about product here on YouTube. Like, everyone has been raving about this. Every single guru that I watch on here, everywhere I go as far as makeup concerns, People talk about this powder. So many people say there's dupes for this powder. Some people say this powder cannot be duplicated. I don't know what the deal is. I have to get it for myself and just see for myself and just, you know, come to you guys and let you guys know how I'm feeling. So I did get this. I ordered this from Camera Ready Cosmetics. Um, I posted a picture on Instagram and a lot of you asked. Well, not a lot of you. A few of you asked me via Twitter and Instagram and Facebook combined, where did I get this? And I got it from CameraReadyCosmetics.com. There will be a link down below in the information bar so you guys can click that link and check it out. They don't just have the banana color. They have chestnut, topaz, and all of the other nutmeg and all the other colors that Ben Nye makes. And it also sells other cosmetic items, um, mostly things for like um, photography and camera and things like that. So they have a lot of stuff like that um on that website so yeah um i ordered this on a monday and i got it wednesday so it will came really fast i ordered it like monday afternoon it was probably like monday evening because i think it was like four or five o'clock and it came wednesday morning and i was shocked how quick it came and that was just standard mail because it did come usps and it did come into this little bubble wrap um envelope the little bubble envelopes that have like the bubble wrap on the inside um and at first i didn't like that because i was like um i hope it's okay on the inside and when i opened it up it was just fine it came perfect um they take down the seal the lid so that way it can't spill and i was really grateful that they did that but yeah so it came like that it came really really fast i was really impressed on the shipping so if you're questioning like when are you gonna get it when's the shipping because i know some people say some websites don't ship it out for like two weeks or a week but this website legit sent it in like two days and that was with regular mail so that was pretty awesome and it is coming from california um yeah la mesa california so two days to come from california to georgia yes so um Again, this product is so raving about. I just really had to get it and I had to, you know, do my own review, test it out for myself and show you guys because so many people use this and I don't know. It's just, I don't know. So um, I did do a photo on Instagram of me wearing this in comparison to me wearing the NYC and a lot of you guys said that the Ben Nye powder looked a lot better and I don't know if you guys were saying that because it is the Ben Nye powder or if you're saying it because... You really did like the Ben Nye. I don't know. It was kind of hard to tell because, you know, you know how people are. Like, some people are like, you know, oh, I'll say it just because it's the product. And I don't know. But personally, I've only worn this product twice. And personally, I can say I do like it. I can't say I love it yet because it's only been two, two times. Today would be the third. And um, mainly what I really liked about this off top was the fact that it photographs with flash really, really well. And I like that because with my NYC loose powder that I've been using, it camera it does camera really good. But for some reason, when I do a flash, it does make my under eye look a little different. Not too much different where it bothers me. But it does, does not look like the Ben Nye powder looks in camera flash. So that's one thing I really like about this one. And um, as far as the longevity of this product, I will say... This one kept my fresh face a little longer than the NYC does, so I do like that as well. But this isn't a review because I can't really review it yet. I'll do a review after I've worn this for like a month or so or I don't know, something like that. So we will see how I'm feeling about the Ben Nye in about a month or so and I'll let you guys know a full review. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go actually show you guys how I use it because a lot of people ask me how do you use it, what do you use it for. This is to highlight your face. This is to highlight the areas of your face, um, you know, your under eyes, the bridge of your nose, your uh, lower jawline to bring out your contour and things like that. So today I'm going to show you guys how I have been using it. 
Um, a lot of people use it differently. A lot of people apply it wet. A lot of people apply it with a brush. A lot of people apply it with a latex sponge like I'm going to do. Um, people apply it with a powder puff. I guess it's just whatever works for you. So far, this has just been doing pretty good. So I'm just going to go ahead and use that. So getting started, only thing I have on is foundation. Uh, my brows are done and I have a little bit of concealer on my lids because of the makeup look that I'm getting ready to do for you guys. So that's pretty much it. So I'm going to go ahead and do my under eye. Under eye. Under eye. I'm going to be using the MAC Studio Finish Concealer in NW40. And as you guys know, I stopped using this and now I'm using it again because now it's my color again. So I'm just going to grab a mirror. I probably should have done that before. Before I started this video but <clears throat> so taking a concealer brush this is just a concealer brush from eco tools feel free to use any kind of concealer brush that you have or that you want to use I'm not going for I'm going for a bright under eye so you guys can see um, but normally I don't wear it too too bright so taking it I just go ahead and I conceal all the way up to my tear duct Kind of using the side of the brush to make this line I'm going to make. And I bring it down. And I kind of like press it in. I bring it down to where it's angled to the corner of my nose. And then I bring it along the top of my cheekbone all the way back. All the way back to my cheekbone. And then I just drag it over and I fill in all of this area getting under the eye just like this all right and then I just do the exact same thing to the other eye and then before I do that, because I'm going to do that off camera, um, I just take a little bit and I bring it down the bridge of my nose. Okay, so down the bridge of my nose like so. And then in normal Kim K fashion, I bring it in little lines above my forehead like that. Like that. And then I also do key points around my mouth. I do my cupid's bow. I do the corners of my mouth. And then I do the top of my chin underneath my lip. So just like that and then again I do the other side so I'm gonna do the other side and then I'll be right back so now that I have the concealer on my face and I kind of look like a lion or something I'm going to take this brush this is an elf powder brush this is the same brush I used to apply my foundation and I'm just going to blend it blend that concealer in to my foundation like that and as you can see it already kind of like highlights I'm going to do the bridge of my nose very lightly and I'm not pressing it in I'm just kind of like blending it so I'm just rubbing really lightly and I'm doing this kind of quick because I don't want the lines to it's kind of dry that way so it's kind of buffing out those harsh edges and I'm doing it lightly once again very lightly like that and as you can see it naturally kind of already highlights there for you so I'm going to continue to do that and then I will be right back okay so now I'm just going to take a little bit of this and sift a little bit into the lid not too much because I really don't need a lot of this but about that much into the lid and that's probably too much but yeah then I'm just going to take the latex sponge you can use again a powder puff a brush I've seen people use this numerous ways 
and I'm just gonna make sure I tap out the excess that I have okay and then I'm just going to take it and apply it right under that eye and then some people pack this stuff on I'm not, I don't pack it on really I just kind of make sure I really press it in really good so after I press it in then I kind of go over and put like a little extra and then don't forget you put concealer all here so you just need to get it there and then I take it down the bridge of my nose and excuse my son and then up into the forehead where you had it okay just like that you do the other eye just like that pressing it in I really press it in to make sure that it really gets it and I bring it all the way to the side of my nose and that's gonna help when I do my contour later and then on my cupid's bow and under my chin you okay <laughs> and under my chin like that so now I just left a little bright mess but <laughs> once you add your contour it definitely stands out a lot better I'm just going to take a brush and wipe away the excess powder very lightly because you don't want to mess up nothing you just want to lightly get rid of the excess powder just like that Okay. You okay? He's eating breakfast and he's like, mama. But anyway, so this is my face after I've highlighted. And you can kind of tell the glow that it gives me. It definitely adds a glow, which the NYC kind of doesn't do. But that's definitely how I've been using it. And I just wanted to come and share that with you guys. Don't forget to check the information bar. If you want to see how I contour, um, I'll put a link to that down in the information bar as well. Because I just recently did a video on that like a few days ago. Um, as well as the link to where you can buy your banana powder and as well as any other information that you guys would like to know will be down below for you guys. And thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.